Welcome back to another edition of the Prospect Profile, a mini-series we do here within the Atlanta Braves franchise where we go over top prospects throughout the Braves organization from AA Mississippi up to AAA Gwinnett. Last time we were in AA Mississippi for Alex Jackson, catching prospect, and now this time we are going to be staying in AA Mississippi for starting pitcher Mike Soroka. So Soroka is a right-handed pitcher. He stands 6'4", 195. Some places have him listed at 6'5", 225, but I think 6'4", 195 is more accurate because he's more of a tall, lanky guy than more of a tall, buff guy, you know? He has that real tall, lanky, like Chris Sale, Adam Wainwright type figure. And Soroka is currently the Atlanta Braves' number four overall prospect. He is their 28th overall pick in 2015 out of Bishop Carroll High School in Calgary, Alberta. That is right, Mike Soroka is Canadian, eh? And as far as Mike Soroka's MLB.com grades go, he is rated as a 60 fastball, which usually sits around 92 to 93 miles per hour. He can rear back and throw that for about, so about 95-ish up in the zone, but it usually works down in the zone. We'll get into a bit of that later. His curveball is rated as a 55. That usually sits around 79 to 80 miles per hour. Works sort of like a slider, as I've seen described, uh, it, although in the game it is a curveball. Uh, 55 changeup, that usually sits around 82, 83 miles per hour. 55 control, and then 55 overall. So everything's 55 except for his fastball, which is a 60 grade. And MLB.com has his ETA as 2019. Although in the game, you guys see him right now as a 65 overall B potential. And Mike Soroka has been playing pretty darn well. And he could possibly be up in 2018. As next year, as you guys know, we have a lot of our pitchers that aren't going to be with us next year. So Julio Tehran and Mike Fulton, which are really the only guaranteed spots in that rotation next year. So... The rest of those guys, they're competing for spots, and Soroka could possibly get there. He could probably end himself back up, and he could end, probably find himself in AAA here later on in the season, and if he pitches well there, I mean, why not put him in the big leagues next year? Not to start the season, but, you know, maybe a couple months into the season, he'll make his way in, like, that fourth, fifth spot in the rotation. And now as far as how Soroka works, he uh, likes to work mainly low in the zone, and that's personally a thing I'm a fan of. Keep it down in the zone. If you're going to pump it up high, you just throw fastballs up in it, try to jam people, get, you know, pop-ups, pop soft pop-ups to, like, opposite side of the field, or, you know, just blow it past him if you can. And uh, But he mainly works low in the zone. But all of his pitches are more of, like, ground ball inducers than they are swing and miss pitches, although with his curveball, he has been getting more swing and misses lately in his career. He's one of those guys who goes right after hitters. He does not waste any time pitching around people. He will go right after hitters. He throws strikes, pounds the strike zone. He's not going to mess around. He's going to get people out. He's going to do it quickly, so he's going to eat innings. He's not going to have to worry about being taken out after four or five innings. And so far in double A, the guy is on fire. He is 3-1 and one in 36 innings pitched. He has 38 strikeouts, a 2.25 ERA, a 1.11 whip. The guy is just dominating. Not really dominating, but he's putting up very solid numbers in double A. Uh, I would I'm not saying he's dominating because I would consider dominating like you're like undefeated. You've got like a sub two ERA. You've got like twice the amount of strikeouts that you do innings pitched. But he doesn't have that. But he's still pitching very, very well in double A. And he could, like I said, find himself up in triple A to end the season, the last few months of the season probably. And then next year, he could possibly find himself in the major league. So I would say his MLB ETA for this series is more 2018, like mid-2018-ish. And moving on to Soroka's MLB player comparison, I would say, like I said, who he looks like, Adam Wainwright. Now, Wainwright's a lot taller than Soroka. I believe Wainwright's six foot seven, but uh, he has that same build where he's tall, lanky guy, kind of like that Chris Sale, like I said, Chris Sale, Adam Wainwright build. But that's not also why he's like Adam Wainwright. He does a lot of things similarly to Adam Wainwright. It works low in the zone, just like Wayno. He His curve is more like a slider, just like Wayno. And he's just really, a, really... Really, pretty much just like Wayno, except for Wayno throws a cutter. Soroka's only a three-pitch pitcher. He's got that fastball changeup and the curveball, which, like I said, is more like a slider, as I've seen in, like, most scouting reports, even though in the game it's a curve. I could possibly change that to, like, a sweeping curve if I wanted to. So with that being said, that's going to wrap things up here for this edition of the Prospect Profile here in the Atlanta Braves franchise. I've been your host, Jerseyborn, and I'm saying goodbye. 
I'm from the great white north, right? Like up above the state. Yeah. The big landmass that the rest of the world hates. Fuck yeah. We're like above that. Fucking north, I guess. The big patch of trees where everybody's bored to death. We're just chilling up here, sipping syrup, playing hockey. Before we learn to walk, we can cross-check properly. Just rocking plaid jackets.